Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some issues where for some reason your App Store account is actually disabled. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons but I will tell you though I wouldn't really freak out about it too much because there are many ways to go ahead and fix this. The first thing though is to understand why this even happens in the first place. You may, there's not just one reason why but there may have been some payment issues. Maybe you bought an app and then on the credit card it you know charged back you could have maybe done too many refunds something you know standard stuff like that if apple sees that you know there's some weird stuff going on they can go ahead and temporarily you know disable your account now this is totally okay i've never experienced this personally but there's many ways to go and fix this the very first thing i would recommend doing is trying to find exactly what the problem is and seeing what exactly is going on so what you want to do and the very first thing i would recommend doing is hopping out of your app store or whatever you want to go inside of your settings app you want to click up here to your little apple id whatever and you want to go ahead and sift through a couple of these different options so right here you have media and purchases find my family sharing but up at the top you have payment and shopping and password and security and all this stuff what i would recommend doing is clicking on payment and shipping or whatever and here you just want to go ahead and verify all the information in there so it's going to go ahead and show you your credit card stuff your shipping address all that stuff you want to verify that all that stuff in there is accurate if you have you know misspelled whatever misspelled addresses and your credit card number is wrong whatever then you're going to have to make sure that's inputted correctly and you know if apple's charging a credit card something they want to make sure it's actually there so you want to make sure that's good and everything no issues there that's pretty much the number one thing I would recommend doing. If there's any you know, problems within your credit card or shipping address or whatever, you want to go ahead and fix that and you should be able to get that all figured out. Now let's say that's not the problem. The next thing I would recommend doing is going back into your settings. So you want to come back into your settings like this. You want to click on your name up here. You want to click on passwords and security, which is right there. And, you want, and what you want to do once you're on this panel, you want to scroll down until you actually get all the way down to sign out. You want to sign out of your Apple ID account and you want to log back in. Now this is a very easy thing, it takes 20 seconds for you to do it. And at this point, once you go ahead and log back in, you should be good to go for the most part. You want to go back into your little Apple ID thing or your little app store and see if that ended up fixing the issue. Now sometimes it's about a hit or miss, maybe it'll do it, maybe it won't. But the next thing I would recommend doing, as long as you think there haven't been any chargebacks or there hasn't been anything crazy, what I would recommend doing as of this point is to actually go ahead and contact Apple. Now this sounds pretty scary. I read the comments in my last video. It sounds like a lot of people have a problem with contacting Apple, but I can tell you it's not really that big of a deal. All you have to do is either you can give them a call or what I would even recommend doing is you don't have to call them. You can just go ahead and contact Apple support via their chat option. So go to apple.com and then log into your account and say you need some help with something. They'll send you off to a chat expert or whatever and you can just let them know your situation and they will walk you through exactly what happened and exactly how to fix it. Again, you don't have to pick up the phone and call anybody through the chat. Make sure you log into the same Apple ID account that you have on your app store right here and you should be good to go. You know, they'll tell you exactly what's wrong, how to fix it. It's probably going to be some chargebacks or something like that and you just have to get that situated, the debt that's on the account and then after that, you'll basically be able to get your account back. So that's essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.